nice to be back to San Francisco and out of my hometown, which is pretty hot these days. Uh, really nice to see my neighbor go to jail on network television yesterday. Uh, a little disturbance down in Key West. I have to stay out for a while. It's good for my health. So we're on the road. That's weird, man. Sitting there eating a cheeseburger, and there's my house. Taking my neighbor to jail. Possession of cocaine. I didn't know what he did for a living. I didn't know he drew a big, had a big car, and he ate well. I always told him to carry a lot of grocery bags in. I didn't know. I don't know anything. I never want to know anything. Damn. I washed my hair with that peach shampoo. I smell like a Sunday. I did. I ran out of stuff. Used fingers. Uh, rock and roll shampoo back there. Here's a little... Uh, Let's do a this thing called Great Filling Station Hole Up. We're going to be there. Mm. Yeah. Watch this finger. I had a severe accident. From a trimmer down in L.A. A table leaped up and hit me in the finger. <laughs> symbols and a lot of dry ice and costumes. But uh, it's budget cuts these days, you know. Yeah, running
hang on two pairs of Adidas or Harley. <laughs> one for the East Coast, one for the West. Blue Ring. This is a little thing that Roger wrote, uh, a little song. We've been on a whirlwind blitz our tour through Texas, and uh, we drove out here on a bus. We've been, first time been on the bus and saw cactuses and stuff out in the desert, and ran into ginseng weed and things like that. <laughs> Had lots of blowouts, and there were no tires. So you know, sitting out there. I didn't know Arizona was there. Yeah. Yuma, I think Yuma, you know, Kapaya, something like Western. It was there. Big truck stops and everything. A little thing called Dallas that we'll do for you. Right? Make sure I got the got uh, trying to get to get this new album together. Uh, it's going to be out probably before the next birth of our Lord and uh, uh, if everything goes right. Or Christmas Day. Uh, it'd be a nice thing to send for Christmas present. We're going to... Uh, I, I tried to get a whole new marketing approach to it. I figured we'd 
That's fun dealing with record companies, it really is. I said, well, let's just make 25 albums and sell them for $32,000 a piece. First come, first serve, you know? Everybody gets a Vegematic, first 10 albums, you know? They didn't buy that, man. They were... So we're going to have to revert to things like songs and instruments and uh, make a real record, I guess. This, is, this will be our token trash song. Uh, it seems to be getting that way. I can't help but write them because they, you know, I involve myself in certain situations sometimes. And this is called uh, Please Take Your Drunken 15-Year-Old Girlfriend Home. Uh, so, <coughs> I think the title speaks for itself. It's... Uh, but it's hot. I mean, we've come a long way here now. We're, uh, we're opening for, for, like, big groups and things. And so you're into teen appeal, which has never been a problem with us before because people never knew who the hell Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band was. And they were an opening act. But now about some of them do, and I wish they didn't because uh, it's real weird because uh, when I was that age, I was in Catholic school, and they... And they stuffed everything under starch and uniforms, and now it's just out there. And there's, in the South, there's big boyfriends with all girlfriends because they aren't there alone. It's date night most places, and you get a little drunk. Oh, hello there, honey. Come on down. Fingers does it all the time. Yeah, I try to stop them all. You know? I'm trying to reprove these boys from their dirty image. Apparently, it'll never do any good, you know. We get criticized for writing songs about drugs and sex and booze, but sorry, that's the ballpark I play in. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we'll leave. Uh, yeah, we, I don't, uh, we've turned down the Vegas circuit many times before. You know? we're, we're hot in Vegas, we really are. Hot in Key West, too, right now, yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't be back here 
Marvin Gardens is barely alive. He's in a rest home in Sarasota. Couldn't take this road much longer. You know. We sent him down there. Has a little IV unit with Gatorade in it. He's doing all right, I guess. Let's do this. A little thing called Life is Just a Tire Swing. Crazy old uncle and aunt Lived in a big house Antebellum style And the wind would blow Across the old bio And I was a tranquil little child Life was just tires Jump and lie still The only song I could sing Blackberry picking Eating fried chicken And I never knew a thing about pain throws me every time I see a Star Trek I've never seen before. It, it blows my whole day. <laughs> Saw one today. I'd never seen that one. Before. At the acting company, the guy was an old massacred uh, ship that Captain Cook was on. I'd never seen that one. It's real tricky. It's only 74 of them. I wanted to call this new album Bemis aboard Scotty. And, uh, oh, Mr. Scott, I'm giving you all I can, Captain. Scott damn engines won't go any faster. <laughs> That show, man, I really do. But uh, this is called Trying to Reason with Hurricane Season, and that intro had nothing to do with the song. Uh, just that it is storm season down there now, and uh, only if you're going to get blown away, it's more fun to be blown away while you're doing it. You know? That's why everybody stocks up for storms. They're a lot of fun. Huh? All right, let's travel the music, please. Falls out on the go 
narrow stream Big storm is coming soon I passed out in my hammer Got a sled to way past noon Stood up and tried to focus I hoped I wouldn't have to move on Shook could use a bloody mirror So I stumbled next door to the bar Tricking with my bad finger here. <laughs> Chet Atkins licks. It's a little thing about mortal sin. Ha ha ha. I'm trying to rapidly control these things. It's called grapefruit juicy fruit. And uh, chew a little.
gray room A bathing suit Yeah, you chew a little juicy root Wash away the night Drive in Your guzzle gin Commit a little mortal sin It's good for your soul bottoms will that do i guess that, that'll have to do this goes out for my orange county loves guys needs penny we'll think i wish i had pencil thin mustache <laughs> Yeah. 
Saxophone, it's a little cassette in there. That <laughs> cues up. All right. Are you ready, Oh, good this God. The, get the cake. Good God, Roger. Watch out.
Matthew Peter for us. All right. Yes. It's contestant number one. All right. That's like to do. Oh, that's fun, man. I, I've always wanted that to be right there when I was. No hard feelings, Harry. No. Just pack up your bags. Get your little lunch box. Harry usually takes that break, see? Used to take that break. You can have it back tomorrow. I swear I'll give it back to you. Okay. Oh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to treat you. This is a real special treat. This is a new song called Havana Daydreaming. Hot off of the press here. I stole this from somewhere, I'm sure. But uh, <clears throat> dedicated to all my friends, the fire chief and city attorney who are now out of jail. We had a little shakeup in our organization down there. I love the, uh, this is verbatim from the NBC guy who was on. He said that uh, cocaine was as easy to buy as key lime pie in Key West. Oh, boy. Not going home today. No sir. Go up east for a while.
Traveling salesman in Nebraska, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you buy that one, I will too. <laughs> this is a little thing Stevie Goodman and I wrote about one of your California culture heroes. Monty, Monty, Monty. <laughs> Carol Merrill. Carol Merrill let her hair go long, man. Wearing two piece outfits. Getting heavy hair. Maybe she sure come see us at the Palomino. Oh, heart drive, heart drive. <laughs>
want to introduce you to the band now, the uh, fantabulous Coral Reaper band. What's, what's their names again? Oh. oh, over on the left, on guitar, Mr. Roger Bartman over there. On the, on the harmonica and the piano and the dosé case, Mr. Fingers Taylor over there. On the bass, it sounded damn near like a saxophone, Harry Daly. Oh. Our own little taco back there, Mr. Philip Ahardo on the drums. <laughs> this is a song Fingers wrote. It's a thing to get him to write a song. I had to take him to beautiful New England where it rained for eight days and locked him in a cottage. And he came out with this little gem here. It's called Big Rig. We're gonna do I was a big rig Rolling all home to you I wish I was a big rig Big rig, baby Rolling all home to you I've been to lots of parties Spent a whole lot of time in a bar There's a whole lot of good-looking women out
We're, this is a. We're gonna do a pirate looks at forty. A one A B one. It's getting weird toward the end here. We were at, we've been in the Midwest for a little while, and people would request songs right after we did them. Uh, that got real strange. I couldn't figure it out. So, time delayed soap opera, I guess. I don't know. I know they don't. They don't understand. They don't understand that. I mean. The, Midwest is there just to keep California and New York apart. Yeah, because everybody, yeah, heart of America. People, the people that brought you granola. We have a radio show going on in the amplifier over there, buddy. What's on? Well, that's it. We got the CVS Mystery Radio on the Rogers Amp up here. What? They were talking dirty on your amp. If y'all didn't hear that, we got a, we're picking up a radio station on the amp. Weird night. Wait a minute. Well, there's always something happening in San Francisco. Mother, Mother Ocean. I have heard you call I wanted to sail upon your waters Since I was three feet tall You've seen it all You've seen it all Watch the man who rode you Switch from sails to steam in your belly you can hold the treasures you have ever seen most of them dream most of them dream yes i am a pirate 200 years too late Cannons don't thunder, there's nothing to plunder I'm an over 40 victim of fate Arriving too late Arriving too late I've done a bit of smuggling I've run my share of grass I made enough money to buy my but I pissed it away so fast It's never meant to last Never meant to last I have been drunk now for over two weeks I passed out and I rallied and I sprung a few leaves But I got to stop wishing Got to go fishing I'm down to rock bottom again Just a few friends Hey, 
takes a while Just takes a while Mother, mother ocean After all my years I've found My occupation a hazard being My occupation's just not around I feel like I've drowned But I won't wear a frown I feel like I've drowned Gonna get drunk of town be able to do that. Well, I don't get to do all those the boogie crowds, you know. All right. We're going to feature uh, our little choreography department here before we run off. You ready there, kiddo? This is, this is going out on the radio, so for too bad all you radio people are missing this, uh, this dance that's about to occur. This is the... Uh, Sausalito Rain Dance is performed by Roger Bartlett up here uh, to the tune of They Don't Dance Like Common No More. I'm going to explain this. I'll, I'll give him a blow-by-blow description of these dances. Roger's now clasping his hands together. In modest prayer there. He uh, works in airports on weekends selling books for Hare Krishna. Ready? <laughs> gotcha. Walking down new streets, music is loud. Neon signs bring in tumultuous crowd I'm just an old man, I'd probably get sold But they don't dance like Carmen no more Yeah, now she ain't no cougar, my word a pair Doing the rumba as no one else did Sliding and gliding across Hollywood flow But they don't dance like Carmen no more Well now she had a big hat God it was high She could balance it Well, I wouldn't dare But they don't dance Like Carmen the way Ah, oh, but the lady's not with us She died long ago And they don't run her movies On late midnight show Cause the kids, they get restless and the grown-ups would snow But they don't dance like karma no more They don't dance like Carmen no more. No, they don't dance like Carmen no more. I'm 
just an old man, I'd probably get sore. But they don't dance like Carmen no more. Now they don't dance like Carmen no more. Yeah, ten cents a dance, so oh, I might take a chance. But they don't dance like Carmen no more. Another new thing for you here is the band keeps progressing. Finish out our little first set with this. And uh, it's a little thing called Kick It In Second Wind, or how I spent my last option at the Troubadour. Coughing over there, ready to go? Huh? I'm ready. Again, a nice hand, please, for the Coral Reaper Band up here. Right now. Yeah. And to Peter for jamming on saxophones and for Mick Jagger and Joe Cocker and everybody for stopping by. It was really a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, boys.
Summit was carrying the band. All right. Jenny Bubba. Jimmy Buffett, live from the boarding house, brought to you tonight by ABC Dunhill Records. It's going to be a pleasant three days, no doubt about it. Man. So I'm going to do, let me just fix this. What time is, when is the, what day is today? Ah, I don't care. Let me do that, we're going to do that. Can you hear this song? Can you hear this? Because this guitar is acting up tonight. It's, uh, I don't know. We're going to do this. That's what I'm going to do for you right here. Clear my ears. Boo! Oh, don't no. This is a song dearly about to... We had, we've never worked up in the Northwest very much before, up around Oregon and Washington. We went up there, and boy, Portland is like wino capital of the world. There's no doubt about it, man. They, downtown Portland is a very strange place, and it's like it hadn't changed very much in the last hundred years or so. Uh, but not great people that live in the suburbs, man. I've never been to suburbs like that. And uh, But I got into it with a couple of winos again up there, and that's a, a re... Confirm my conviction that they're just sort of out there, you know. They could, if you put all of that energy to use, that they use to manipulate their sales to get to $3.50 a day to support their habits and put that to practical use, we could beat the fuck out of standard oil. Oh, I'm on the radio. Uh, we, could, we could sort of uh, put those gentlemen on their dusters. Thank you. All right. This is a song I wrote about an old man still down in Grand Isle, Louisiana, named Jesse Bartholomew. It's called He Went to Paris. It's just a... It's an example of how you have to go out swinging, man. That's the only way to do it. He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. He was impressive, young and aggressive, saving the world on his own. But the warm summer breezes, the French wines and cheeses put his ambitions at bay. Summers and winters scattered like splinters and four or five years slipped away. He went to England and played the piano, married an actress named Kim. They had a fine life, she was a good wife and bore him a young son named Jim. And all of the answers and all of the questions He locked in his attic one day He likes the quiet, clean country living And twenty more years slipped away Well, the war 
Lord took his baby, bombs killed his lady, and left him with only one eye. His body was battered, his whole world was shattered, and all he could do was just cry. While the tears were falling, he was recalled. Answers he never found. So he hopped on a freighter, skidded the ocean, and left England without a sound. Now he lives in the islands, fishes the pilings, and drinks his green label each day. Writing his memoir, losing his hearing, but he don't care what most people say. Cost of 86 years of perpetual motion. If he likes you, he'll smile, then he'll say, Give me some of its magic, some of its tragic, but I had a good life all the way. He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so 